holy crap, it's episode two of the mail room, which means that it's mail room, no females. Girls, you know. Let's unpack some cool stuff that's sitting here in the receiving area and actually a pretty special surprise. That was it, you were just here for that gag. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Cooler Master's new Master Keys Pro L and Pro S keyboards feature 16.7 million color RGB backlighting, genuine Cherry MX switches, and an industry-leading ARM Cortex processor. Learn more at the link in the video description. So let's kick things off with the stuff that's here for our own internal use and for some upcoming video projects. This is like hundreds of dollars, and Brandon insists he needs an entire bolt, not to mention he wants a dispenser for it, of this black fire retardant cloth, apparently for controlling light. To which my reply was, and is always, why do you make light just to waste it? Do you have any idea how much electricity costs? He's always turning on lights and then putting diffusers on them and cloths covering up certain parts of them. Uh, we did a project recently where one of the cable mod LED strips that we were trying to use turned out to be defective. And that's why the LTT edition build had green lighting in it instead of orange. So they sent us wheels upon wheels of their RGB lighting kits. So now we have all the RGB, not to mention controllers for them all. Oh, this is great. So Razer's launching their core external PCI Express graphics card enclosure, and we'll be getting one very soon. But of course, what do you compare something like that to? Well, we finally got our hands on one of those beast uh, external PCIe things that you can plug into your laptop with an M.2 connector from banggood.com. So we are gonna be running that comparison, which we are really excited about. All we're waiting on now is the Razer Core. This is awesome. So this is actually the same motherboard that I used for a project a long time ago. Why do I need another one of them, you might ask? Because we are gonna be doing a collab with Nerd Fusion. You guys might know Sevidus. So Sevidus and his gang saw our ball in, you know, storage and transcoding setup. And we're gonna be building a similar machine using Unraid with a bunch of Seagate drives, uh, with a Storinator from 45drives.com and Supermicro throwing in some hardware. And uh, I am super stoked on that project. We're actually gonna go down to Seattle and install it for them. This this is exciting. So LG sent us another uh, care package or eight. So this is their 27 UD88, 27 inch 4K IPS FreeSync monitor. It's got a gorgeous aluminum stand. Why do we need eight of them? The follow up to seven gamers, one CPU is coming very, very soon. This time we're gonna have the machine in a server room somewhere and we're going to be running all of our clients, little Zotac um, low powered boxes with these 4K monitors streaming games off of the server all at the same time. So they provided us a bunch of monitors for that. But the big surprise for this video and for me actually, was that I asked our warehouse helper, Jake, to start putting aside anything that looked like a letter addressed directly to me or any of the LMG team um, in like a fan mail bin around the time we did the last mail room where we read that one really nice letter from someone who watches our videos. And I had no idea because he never tells me when things arrive that this thing is freaking full. Holy crap. So, uh, Let's have a look at what we got going on here. Some people even sent packages. So I'll use opening up all these packages as an excuse to show off the progress on Brandon's new B-roll area. We're gonna have like RGB lighting in between these hexagons and there's like, for some reason, there's like a gangplank up there that you can walk, anyway. Like every kid on Christmas morning, I'm gonna start with the biggest one. This is from Kenneth. Kenneth sent us a Supra seat which appears to be one of those honeycomb pressure point reduction things. Thanks, Kenneth. All right, so maybe biggest was a mistake. Let's go with the smallest package next. All the way from Australia, from King of Soldiers, $30 to ship this thing. Wow. People ask why it's expensive to buy Linus Tech Tips t-shirts. 
when they live in Australia. That would be why. Oh, once again, I have chosen poorly. Dairy Milk Bar with Vegemite, only in Australia. They have resealable chocolate bar packages in Australia? What the f***? That is awesome. I guess in America, they just assume that they're gonna mow down the whole freaking thing in one sitting, which we do. It smells okay. I hope it's not just like a big old like hunk of Vegemite in the middle. Oh, what? Okay, I think there's a less melty side. That was surprisingly edible. I don't know that I would personally pay 30 Australian dollars for them, but I appreciate that uh, King of Soldiers uh, sent them to us and I will definitely share those with the rest of the team. Not as bad as I thought it would be though. Uh, this is from Alexandria, Ontario. Um, this is just a movie I ordered. <laughs> okay, let's try again here. Our next letter is from Nathaniel. To Linus, Colton, Luke, Nick, the other Nick, Yvonne, Dennis, Taryn, John, Brandon, and anyone else at Linus Media Group. Thank you for the gift. I watch the four channels every day, but I don't like NCIX tech tips as much. Right now I'm watching Why Not Paint Your Video Card. I built the Linus Media Group building in Minecraft. I also watch the WAN show on Twitch. I have a video request. It would be a, cool to see a video of you, like a video of your personality or of all the people at Linus Media Group and what they do. Anyways, I love your videos from a subscriber. My cats, oops, that's not a cat. Thank you, Nathaniel. How the sh did this get here? Can you even have a PO box as a return address? And second of all, it's US stamp, US address, US person, but it's addressed to me. Am I allowed to open it? YOLO? Linus, from one techie to another, here's a gaming desk chair super seat cushion for you to enjoy. Oh, this is, this is the seat. Incidentally, I'm preparing to build a mini ITX rig faster than today's commercial technology permits. Your thoughts on the matter are welcome. Ah, now I understand. Okay, because I've had no context for this. Well, I will try it out then. Thank you. Not Tina Salazar. All right, let's do another package. This is from Wajtech. I noticed you guys looked a tad cold on one of your WAN shows. So I had my girlfriend knock up, that must be a UK slang I'm not familiar with, knock up two Linus themed hats. Enjoy, all the way from Prague, Czechoslovakia. Did I say UK slang? Must be Prague slang. This looks amazing. Holy crap. Does it look good? Yeah. Nice. That is freaking fantastic and it's even got the bobble on the head. Well, I'm wearing this for the rest of the video. This one's addressed from Salt Lake City to Mr. Linus Sebastian, CEO and host from Theodore. Dear Mr. Sebastian, I'm writing to you and your team to thank you for all you have taught me about modern technology. I have learned an overwhelming amount of facts I would never have known. I'm a 12 year old seventh grader. Whenever I get home, I jump onto my couch and see if any recent video uploads are up and to see if the WAN show is on. Apart from all the learning, I enjoy watching Burkle and the rest of the crew on Channel Superfun hosted by the unfathomable Nikki V. They always make me laugh. I look forward to meeting you, Taryn, Luke, Colton, Nick Van Burkle, John, Dennis, Nick, Edsel, and Brandon in the near future. Thanks, Theodore. Whoa, this is long. Dear Linus, I am writing to you to express how grateful I am for you and all the LMG crew for changing my life from what it used to be a year ago to what it is now. I used to have a really difficult time at school. However, I started watching some of your videos after remembering some of your NCIX videos I watched a few years ago. Once I started watching them on a regular basis, I learned a lot about technology and that inspired me to start doing more with myself than just playing games, which gave me a lot more self-confidence in day-to-day -day life. This really helped me overcome the fact that I was always feeling quite down and become the more sociable and knowledgeable person I am today. Around six months ago, I built my first computer by doing something very similar to Austin in Scrapyard Wars 3 I'm sorry to hear that. By bridging the 24 pin on one PSU to provide enough power to the 780 Ti. I put in this cheap HP workstation. Unfortunately, the 780 Ti was too big for the side panel to fit on it, so I took advantage of this by upgrading the CPU cooler to a Shadow Rock 2. Very nice. Here's a picture of the computer now. Love it. The reason I'm telling you this is because all of this wouldn't have happened without your amazing videos and advice. Today I'm still hyped for every release on Linus Tech Tips, Tech Quickie, and Channel Super Fun. 
I watched your videos daily, I watched the WAN Show live, and somehow became a mod on Luke's stream. Sick, man. I also included a UK 50p coin to do whatever you want with. Very nice. I was wondering what the weight was in there. All right, our next letter is from... Giuseppe! Dear Linus, I'm from Italy and would say you a huge thanks for all you do every day. I'm studying computer engineering and before I found you I was interested only in software. Now thanks to you I'm beginning to learn something on hardware and how the PC works. Before becoming Linus Tech Tips, what do you study and how do you learn all the things that you do? I do not pretend that you reply me because I know, seeing your videos, that you are too busy. I just hope you read this letter because too many times I was disappointed. So I'm sure that you'll read this letter in June maybe. Still May. If you read this letter, I'll tell you that I find interest in the Project Free Geek and I'll open a shop in my garage with my old computer and computers that other people give me. All the money I'll use for helping people. Very cool. So to answer your question, Giuseppe, and it's May still, not June, I flunked out of university and pretty much everything I know is basically either self-taught or with tutorials and courses online. So there you have it. Bryce writes, Read on camera, please. All right, man, I'm working on it. Dear Linus, if you are reading this, I want to say thank you for taking the time to read this. You're welcome. I'm going to send you an email, or I was going to, but I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost. Uh, well, th these are more likely to get lost based on what I've seen here. My name is Bryce Meacham. I have all these YouTube channels. There's like a bazillion of them. Yes, I just took the Linus out and put in my name before your comment section starts freaking out. You wouldn't be the only one, Bryce. I love what you do and I want to make the computer technology community bigger and I'm inspired by your name. Therefore, I wanted to continue the trend of Linus Tech Tips. The reason I'm mailing you is because I love your videos and I wanted your input on my channel. Search it up and uh, can you possibly an official Linus Tech Tips shirt or a WAN Stealth shirt in your smallest size with the team's autographs? Please show this on camera. My custom setup, this is my real background. Got the Linus Tech Tips background going on. My filming setup. You do not have to read this on camera. It is your choice. Thank you for the letter, Bryce. I will, uh, I will find some time to drop you an email in the next little bit. All right, this one is uh, Royal Mail Nottingham, no return address. Oh, it's from the Tech Team GB guys. Dear Linus, pardon the sloppiness here. I just got released from hospital and I'm on morphine, trauma, doll and an IV of wow holy crap I saw the mail video you did a few weeks ago and I thought you might like this one I've been watching your videos since 2011 and I've learned an incredible amount I used the video you did on the AMD Vision Black system built to help build my first PC and have used a lot of your reviews to make informed buying decisions you were the reason that four years ago I started my own YouTube channel to take a look at cool tech gear and it's been awesome I know you must get a lot of requests to promote other channels, so I won't ask for that. Well, apparently you're on here. But I've got around 10,000 subscribers, around 2.3 million views. One last point I wanted to make was that I feel the need to thank you. Last year I went through periods of suicidal depression and anxiety, but seeing a new entertaining video from you every morning helped a lot, especially when it got me to smile. Well, you are very welcome, Andrew, and thank you for sending the letter, as well as a surprisingly professional looking business card, other than the part where you, uh, like crossed out stuff and put other stuff on it. Nice, man. So that's it, that's all guys. Thanks for checking out this episode of The Mail Room and uh, maybe I will see you again on the next one. But you know what my favorite thing to get in the mail is? Checks from sponsors. And today's sponsor is... <laughs> I don't know, should I do it? This is on, this is on The Mail Room. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I think it's pretty funny. MassDrop.com is where to <laughs> Oh, it's like, it's so awful, I can't even say it. Stop! <laughs> but it's funny. Don't do it! I don't know, I could piss off everyone. Okay, 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 sorry, I've got my composure. I gotta keep a straight face. I got you. But you know what's almost as fun as opening up these great letters from you guys? Opening up checks from sponsors like MassDrop. And MassDrop is featuring the Centrance DACPort Slim today. It built on the success of the DACPort Classic. It features a maximum power output of 450 milliwatts, 109 decibels of dynamic range, 0.003% total harmonic distortion, a low and a high gain setting, depending on what kind of cans or IEMs you're plugging in, and it includes a three-foot USB cable. And it drops all the way from 150 
$50 MSRP to $99.99 because that is the value of Masterop. They find authorized distributors and manufacturers and they find many eager buyers and they put them together. They go, hey, if we connect you two together, can you give them a deal and can you guys commit to buy? Boom. So this particular one is limited to 180 units, meaning you're going to need to move pretty fast. If you want to check it out, it's over at drawdop slash LTT dash port but they've got all kinds of other products over there, including knives, keyboards, camping supplies, pretty much you freaking name it. So check it out over at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. If you dislike this video, dislike it. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, or maybe even consider supporting us by checking out our Amazon affiliate link, instructions for which are up there. Just if you're buying stuff on Amazon anyway, you might as well use it by buying a cool shirt like this one. It's actually the foil ones. I'm not sure if they're available yet. This is my early sample. Or just by joining our community forum where you can ask questions, answer questions, and all kinds of good stuff like that. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So maybe check out this video over on channel super fun where we have a lot of fun and uh, you can tell from sort of you know presumably the caption under that video what exactly it is